Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish word of the day is blueberry, which is in Swedish blåbär. Blåbär. So today we are going to use some of my favorite products, some of my older favorite products and some of my newer favorite products. These are not, I'm not saying that these are my like holy grail products, but I wanted to do a makeup tutorial using some of the makeup within my collection. So nothing new, just shopping my stash a little bit, using some new products and then using some old products as well, or newer anyway. So one older products that I'm going to use today is this one. This is the highlight palette from BH Cosmetics. Looks like this, used to rave about this, 2018. On my eyes, I'm using the certified palettes. You guys know I have two certified palettes and I absolutely adore their formula. So this is the Tropical Wonders palette. And then we have the certified uh, Dynasty palette right here. By the way, I'm filming this with my new camera. This is the first video I ever filmed with my new camera. I have filmed one Instagram tutorial I did that yesterday, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should, because I'm trying to do more like videos, like fun, snappy videos. Um, I did try to do one with this look as well, so I do believe that that is already up on my Instagram. So if you want to see like a one minute video of me applying my makeup, then you should go ahead and follow me on my Instagram. What else am I using? I'm using the Jouer Liquid Lipstick. I'm using... Um, I think the only thing that you see me use all the time is my concealer. But other than that, I do believe that I've used a lot of like older products. One old really cult classic is the Contour Palette from ABH. I know, mine looks absolutely disgusting. I know, this is what mine looks like. I've been using this today for contour and to, to powder my face. So yeah, oh, by the way, you have seen me use the Pixi Glow Mist as well, because that's what I used today as well. But I'm not gonna continue talking all this time. Uh, I'm just gonna hop into the video. So please, if the quality of this video isn't top notch, just know that I'm working on the settings. Let me know if there's some errors or something that you want me to change and I'll definitely do so. But for now, let's just hop into this little makeup tutorial. So I wanna play with my certified palettes today because I love them, but I don't use them enough. I have actually used the Dynasty palette the most. I love this little quad right here, especially this one, but the pinky shades are just absolutely stunning. I wanna play with both of these and I wanna play with some blues, maybe some purples. I haven't really decided, but I do wanna play a little bit with some blue shadows today. So I'm gonna start off with the, sh the Dynasty palette, let's see here, and I'm gonna jump into the shade Emperor, which is this one right here. So I'm taking this right here. So I'm going in with a little bit more. I'm just kind of stamping it on. I don't think that this palette has enough dark blue shades, so I might even actually... Oops, got a little bit of kick up. I might actually even deepen this up with a black or even like a really deep purple. But for now, I'm just trying to add on the shade. I wanted to do something blue because I usually stay away from blue. I don't know why. I like blue, but it's just that I like other colors more. So now I'm gonna hop into the shade Grand, which is this one. And then I'm just going to smoke this out. And this Grand shade is also in the Dynasty palette. So I get a lot of questions, not a lot, but I sometimes get some questions about the Certify formula, but then also blush stripes formula and if they are different and so on and If so, what's the difference? So Okay, the difference is huge Let's just say that so certify mattes are very very dry and they are very, like they, if you touch them, you know, when you swatch certain shades. Blush stripes shadows are very smooth, uh, but certified shadows are really, really dry. And that 
I say in the nicest way as I possibly can. I'm not saying that they are dry and bad because I love certified shadows. So dry doesn't mean that, that they are bad. Uh, I find certifies, oh, I'm black, blue here. I find certifies mattes more pigmented, but they also, as you can see, contain more kick up and more fallout. I'm gonna take a mix of these two purple right here. I'm just gonna add it on right here. Just so we want, I want that a little bit more like blueberry shade. It's a little bit of like a purple and a, a blue. Yeah, but certified shadows contains a lot more fallout. They contain a lot more kick up in general but they are very, very easy to blend. <laughs> Blush stripe shadows are also really easy to blend. Uh, but as I said, Blush stripe shadows are a little bit more smoother. They are also pigmented, but you need to build them a little bit more than with certified shadows. So there is a difference. I know that a lot of people think that only because they are sisters that they do have the same uh, formula, but they actually don't. So I did not roll it like this, so I'm gonna go in with the uh, Tropical Wonders palette and instead use <laughs> Firefish, which is this one. And then I'm just gonna place this here. Doesn't seem to happen that much. Taking a little bit more. I'm actually gonna take a little bit. The, little, little, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the shade Hibiscus as well, this pinky one. And then I'm just gonna go right over this. Does it look muddy or does it look good? I have no idea. I don't really know how to continue this right now. This is how I always feel when I do a blue look. I just want to wipe everything off. But I'm gonna go in with the shade Starling. This is also in the... Every time. I promise you, every time. This shade is also in the Tropical Wonders palette. And I just want to use this to really deepen this look up a little bit. So obviously we cannot look like this. I'm gonna cut my lid using a little bit of a thicker concealer. This is from Maquillage. This brand I don't think really exists anymore, but it was a Swedish brand. But of course you have a concealer at your home. At least most of you do, so you can use that. I have started using this because I've realized that if I use my ABH one, it's a little bit more liquidy, which makes it crease on me a little bit easier. So if I use a thick uh, concealer it works better so now I just use my concealer from ABH to <laughs> clean up under my brows and let me tell you it takes a long long time to use that one up I really think that this looks like a blueberry uh, purple blue it isn't as blue as I originally thought, but it is really like blueberry. This is what a blueberry yogurt looks like, and I think it looks kind of neat. So I've gotten some comments that people want me to use this palette a little bit more. This is the BH Cosmetics Aurora Light Palette, and I am going to use the shade Vibrant, which is this. This is like a pinky purple, and then on top of it, I'm gonna use one of the glitter shades right up here but I'm going in with the shade Vibrant first. So I've said this before, but this palette contains different formulas. So the top row is just glitters. This one is like foils, and then this one are high impact, I think that they are called, but they are, um, so the ones right on top here is very uh, opaque. <laughs> oh my God. You know, I talked about their Capricorn palette, let me tell you that um, that palette they're now giving away for free. That's how great that one did. So I guess it wasn't a, not only me that didn't really see the point of that palette. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Prismatic on top. This top row is, as I said, a glitter one, so it's gonna make the shadow a little bit more glittery. Do we dare to go in with a little bit of the shade Ombre? Okay, let's try it. Just right here. Oh yeah, that is stunning. This has a little bit of a blue shift to it. You know, when I start with this palette, I can never stop. I'm going in with a little bit more of the shade Starling. Just right here. And then I'm taking a clean brush and just blending this out. So now I'm gonna take a mix of these two shadows, which is Emperor and Empress. Oh, and by the way, I didn't finish my Blush Tribe and Certify story, but I've said this before, I don't like Certify's um, shimmers, but I do like Blush Tribe's shimmers. And then I'm gonna take the shade uh, Fire Fish, which is this purpley pink one, and I'm gonna take this right here. So we get a neat transition. So I'm gonna apply these lashes. These are from Scandal Lashes and these are the um, black magic ones. And then I'm gonna clean this little area up and then I'll be right back. The only primer that I have been really, really loving to the point that I wanna get a new one is this one. So this is the Wet n Wild Dewy Luminous whatever. And I'm just gonna, so we're just gonna get this on our face. Oh, so nice. I will say, I don't have a concealer that I've been loving for um, a long period of time, just so you guys know. The concealers that I've been loving are the ColourPop one. Yeah, I do have one of that, by the way. I'm gonna use that today. <laughs> I have been panning. <gasps> no, look at my eyelashes. Damn. Laugh. Anyway, what I was saying was that I have been panning all of my um, concealer collection. So I do have a package with some of my favorite concealers on its way over to me, but I don't have it yet. So a foundation that I have been absolutely loving for a very, very long time is the Isadora This is absolutely amazing. I freaking adore this. I'm not too excited about it today as I was a couple of years ago. Um, I'm just gonna be honest about that. Not to say that it's bad or anything, it's just that my preferences has changed. Hey Sigge. Yeah? He loves this little snake that he has. That's she good. It's actually a toy for cats. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over this. Um, this is, as I said, it, uh, it's not my all-time favorite foundation anymore, but that is only because of the fact that I've changed preferences. I do like a dewy finish a little bit more, and this is a little bit more matte, but I still use it. I th still think it looks real, really nice, and I can always make it a little bit more dewy with my Pixi Glow Mist or just with some extra highlighter or something like that. And if you do feel like maybe I'm a little bit lost today or a little bit like quiet or whatever, um, I am actually, I talked about this in my most recent Get Ready With Me. I'll link it up here in case you haven't seen it. But I did talk about the fact that I am I'm currently fasting, so I'm just eating some shakes for dinner, um, and I've been doing that for three days now. So I'm a little bit, like this is the third day, and I'm a little bit ugh, low on energy. Just so you know, I'm going in with my um, Anastasia um, 
Ow! Fuck! My <laughs> Anastasia Cream Contour Palette. This is what it looks like. I just saw that I hit pan on this shade and I was like, oh, I don't even like it. But I do use it to blend these two out a little bit because they are a little bit more firm than I would like. But yeah, my energy is really, really low. Um, and also, I am not the kind of person that eats five times a day. I cannot do that. And with these shakes, you need to do, take them five times a day, and I have not been able to do so. I just, ugh, I cannot. So I've been eating three to four of them. So I, but I have added some protein powder or some protein, yeah, you know, some protein. Uh, because my boyfriend drinks protein shakes after the gym and so on. So I've been doing that and it's, it's worked nice. But I'm really looking forward to eating um, some real food again. But at the moment I feel like it could go two days extra. Um, so that's nice to know. So I'm going in with my Colourpop concealer because you guys know I used to love this. But I don't mind it during the morning because I, I just drink coffee during the morning. I'm a little bit like Miranda in Sex and the City. The only thing I want inside me is coffee during the morning. <laughs> so this concealer is a little bit too dark so I am going to lighten it up. And I'm gonna do that with my Essence Camouflage Concealer. This is the matte one. I did repurchase the healthy one. That is the one that I have on my way or on the way to me but I did not repurchase the matte one. Uh, the matte one can look really dry on me and I just, I don't, it's not my favorite, so uh, I did not repurchase it. It doesn't really mesh well with my nose area either, so I don't, yeah, I, I just didn't want to repurchase it. Uh, so that's why I kind of mix it so that I can still use it up. Oh, and I've been doing uh, Instagram videos. You have to go ahead and check them out if you don't follow me on Instagram. I used to do them with not my camera that I had before this one, but my other camera. And I think it's so much fun. You have to go ahead and check me out on Instagram if you haven't. My name is Paulina Asp Jung, which is my first and last name. I can link it on the screen right here. So I used to be obsessed with this palette. This is looking disgusting. I know this is the contour palette from ABH. And I'm going to use these two shades under my eyes. But I'm taking most of the light shade because the banana powder is a little bit too yellow for my skin at the moment. I've been really, really enjoying shopping my stash a little bit more and just using some of my older products and yeah, I mean, I've been shopping a lot, but I've mostly been shopping um, face products and like foundations and so on because I've wanted to do a little bit more of those kind of videos like foundation tests and just mixing it up a little bit. I've done so many eyeshadow palette videos that I feel like it's fun to just currently like just now for a couple of weeks, focus on what I have within my eyeshadow palette collection, uh, use the ones and really figure out what I'm missing. And you know what? Ugh, I'm so bad. But you know my video I did with like, oh, I'm gonna try this uh, 2019 and so on. I'm just gonna go a little bit over my cheekbones, a little bit over my forehead with this. But you know, nine brands I wanna try in 2019. I mentioned some Linda Hallberg, I mentioned some, which other brands? Ace Beauty, Sydney Grace, Cleona, um, you know, a bunch of different brands. And now I've realized, I never use my singles and a lot of these brands, like Sydney Grace, Cleona, Divina, Luxie, the ones that I mentioned, really focuses on single eyeshadows and I never use my single eyeshadows. So I feel like I love single eyeshadows, but I never use them. So I don't, I don't know. I just don't really feel like I, there's no, like there's no point of me purchasing a lot of single eyeshadows. 
I love the idea in theory, but what's the point if I'm not gonna use it? If I'm not gonna use the makeup, what's the point? You know, I have enough makeup that I don't use. I have so many single eyeshadows from Makeup Geek and ColourPop that I adore, but I just never use it. So what's the point of me purchasing from Cleona or Sydney Grace or Divina if I'm not gonna use their products either? I mean, it's not like I'm gonna start using it just because I get some singles from them. I honestly never use my singles and I need to be better at that um, and like focus on the, the, the makeup that I have and use the singles that I have before purchasing new ones. So let's hop into my little essence bronzer. You guys know I used to be obsessed with this but ever since I found the bronze, uh, take home the bronze, I've been obsessed with this. Yeah. This bronzer is phenomenal and it's so affordable. I think it's one of my most affordable bronzers ever. And it's just so good. So I thought I would hop in and do like my under eyes, but I don't know what to do. <sighs> okay, let's zoom you guys in a little bit. Hello. I can do that right now. I can zoom you guys in without having to turn off the camera. Fix the settings, focus, and then turn the focus off. So good. So good. But at the same time, what the fluff happened here? Do you see that this shade here has faded? I don't know what happened. I don't know. But F it. Let's see what we can do under our eyes. Starting out with the shade Embrace. So that one. Tap your brush off because we don't want any fallout. You know what? I'm gonna press this. I'm gonna press it more into my skin. I'm gonna make this palette my biatch. And now we got some fallout. You know what you need to do? You need to take your brush quick as F and just whoop! Task it away. Or sm smack it away. Smack it away. No, you don't smack your makeup away. So let's hop into this palette right now and we're gonna take this blue and then we're just gonna take this, you know what, no, I'm gonna go in with glitter glue by the way. Glitter glue on, now going in with the shade Polar. Hello. Do you know what we're gonna do then? Then we're gonna take this Wet n Wild Winter Falls in LA, this one, this one. Take this in your inner corner. Ba-boom! Of course we're gonna use my Pixie by Pietra. Uh, liquid Fairy Lights in the shade Crystalline. So for highlight today, I'm gonna use this bad boy. I was obsessed with this one. This is the BH Cosmetics. Oh, black light six color highlighter palette. Looks like this. It's absolutely stunning. But I used to be obsessed with these two shades. So I'm gonna use these two today on my face. I'm just mixing them on a brush and then Ooh, oh my god! Pink highlight, here I come! Damn, this is pretty. Mm, this was brighter than I remembered. I mean, skip the Ofra Nikki tutorials highlight. Uh, what is that called? Cloud9? It has nothing compared to this. I might 
want to go in with another highlight as well just on my cheeks a little bit this was a little bit too pink um, it was a little bit more pink than I remember it to be but for blush I'm gonna use this one this is the Becca <sighs> luminous blush in the shade Fox G love Fox G love I don't know don't remember how to pronounce it but I'm gonna use this today A little bit on my nose. Woo! A little bit, a lot on my nose. I'm gonna take a little bit of my pixie highlight. Now that I can show you how it really looks like, look at this. Do you see how much I have used this one? Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's amazing. I can't even talk. That's how amazing it really is. So I'm just gonna take this. I need to cover this up a little bit because I look like fluffing Rudolph. So I want to keep the pinkness, but I don't want it to be as pink. So that's why we're going over this just. What do you mean I have too much highlight on? Are you crazy? Okay, I couldn't really find my bronzer brush, so I'm just gonna take this brush and then I just like to go over this just so you tone everything down. So just use your bronzer brush if you have gone in with too much like I have. Or just your powder brush. But I like to do take my bronzer brush because I feel like it really blends it out. Another product from Pixi you know I love is the Pixi Glow Lotion. So I'm just gonna spray my face. You need to use a lot of this. It's a must. It's a must, you know? It's a must. So for lips, I think I'm gonna go in with this one from Jouer. This is in the shade Orchid. I remember that I loved this because this is such a beautiful, like, rosy pink. It's really, really pretty, so... Oh, yes. Okay, let me just do something about my hair and I'll be right back. I actually just let down my hair didn't do anything with it. I just showered yesterday and I don't know what's going on with my hair. I don't get my curls anymore and I just... Pfft. That's why I kind of have it, you know, in that sophisticated hairstyle that you guys like me in. Because it's just... I don't like my hair at the moment. So, yeah, we'll see what I'll do with that. But my hair isn't really the point of this video the makeup is I know a little bit too much highlight but that's the way I like it I really hope that the footage of this video was fine because as I said in the intro this is the first video I ever film with my camera or my new camera you guys have probably seen other videos from me but just keeping it real. So anyway, I'm gonna end the video right here, but I do hope that you enjoyed this little video from me. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, feel free to thumbs the video down. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.